In this lesson, we're gonna take a deeper look into the immutability nature of the pandas library. Uh, we're gonna do it because of a number of reasons. The first one is that it's usually the number one source of confusion from our students. You're trying to create a certain operation, run a certain method, and it seems like that method didn't work. You just don't see the results out. So that is usually because the, the changes were made in a copy of your data frame or series. That's the way Pandas is going to work. Pandas by default is an immutable library. It's an immutable first library. And this is a very good thing. We like in computing and when we're dealing with data, we like not to change things. Immutable solutions are usually preferred because you can always go back in time and check what changes you've made and you have like intermediate copies of your data. So you can think about your data workflow and the output of one uh, operation is the input of the other one which is changing it and creating this workflow. It's not, it's not just a chain of methods that they are all modifying the original uh, source of data. So again, this is a very good characteristic. Again, I, I'm by it, I mean the immutability nature of pandas. So I think it's a very good decision. It's a very smart decision by the pandas people. Now, sometimes we do need to make a change because for example, you have you read a CSV and there are three columns that you will not be using. So you just drop them and you don't want to create a copy for that. That's something kind of obvious. It's very, it's very hard to judge when something should be uh, an immutable operation and when it should be a mutable operation. This is usually just the, the result of experience. By default, if you're not sure about it, I'd say try to keep things immutable. Try to create copies and don't, don't modify the original data structure. Usually the way it's gonna make the changes in the data frame or the series will be the with, with the in-place parameter, something we've seen a couple of times, the in-place parameter will be the one that is creating the change. So let's start with several examples. We, you will not see anything new in this given lesson. We've used all these methods before, but it's just again a, a detailed view of when something's gonna be immutable and when something is going to be mutable. So to get things started, we have our movies data frame, this one right here. And as you see, there is a regular range index that is generated automatically by pandas. What I wanna do is set the index to movie title, right? So the column uh, movie title right here, I wanna make it the index. So the first thing that I'll be tempted to do is just do movie title, sorry, movie set index movie title. And it looks like it worked. It has, when I, when I see these, right, just, just my first approach with, pan, approach with pandas, I see that the data frame has been changed and the index is movie title. But if I check again the underlying data frame, it hasn't changed. So line four, I make the change. I expect to see it later and it's no longer there. It's like my operation didn't work. Again, this is creating a new copy of the data frame in memory and you are using and what it's returned is the copy. So usually what you're gonna do here, if you wanna keep things immutable, it's create an intermediate variable. So for example, uh, movie, movie title data frame and you create this, inter, uh, under this intermediate variable and you keep using this one that you know that it has that given change. If you want to make the change permanent in the data frame, uh, in the underlying data frame, you will use the in place parameter. So I run the same operation set index and movie title, and I see now it doesn't matter how many times I run this line, movie title is now the permanent index of the original data frame that I had. So again, this in place parameter is the one that will let you write things down to commit things back to the original data frame. Most of pandas uh, methods will accept actually an in place parameter. So if I check the documentations of uh, set index, we will see here in place equals false. You will, this is a pattern, something you will see most methods will accept an in place parameter remember that by default, it's gonna be immutable. 
If you are the type of person that you like to keep mental models, if you like to see patterns, there is one to see here. First, by default, things are going to be immutable. We've said that already. The second one is that when you run an operation that it's somehow changing something, but it's returning something, there is an output to that command or to that operation. That means that that, that was immutable. In this example, we perform the set index and it returns something. It returns something because again, usually you want to keep that in an intermediate variable. If you make a change that is mutable, that is changing the underlying data frame, it's returning nothing. There is no output here. All right. So that's the pattern. If you make a change and it does have an output, it, if it returns something, that operation was immutable. If it didn't return anything, in this case, it returned none. There is no output. That operation was mutable. It did modify the original data frame. We're going to see a couple more examples. With reset index, it's going to happen something similar. We have our, our original data frame it has movie title as the index. Let's say we uh, regret that move. We want to just turn the index back to whatever it was. We're going to set reset index and we're going to go back again to the range index. But again, as this thing did return an output, there is an output here generated up up. Uh, the output is clearly uh, it's visible here. That means it was an immutable operation. When I try to check again, the, the contents of my original data frame movie title is still the index. If I want to make that permanent, I'm going to run reset index with in place equals true. There is no output here. It was none. So that means that the original data frame was indeed changed. If I uh, run the head again of movies, I see that movie title is no longer the index. Another example here with rename, we have our original data frame that has the column title underscore year. I will rename that column to year. And as you can see right here, the change seemed to be happening. Title year was renamed to year. But again, we have output. This is an immutable operation. If I check movies head again, title year is the column uh, that we want. So I need to make the in place parameter in order to make the change. There are a couple more examples here. You can execute them. I'm just going to go directly to the sort values. This is a very, very common mistake in which you try to sort a given data frame. Usually the sorting operations, they make a little bit more sense to make it mutable because it's usually something like you do at the beginning. Like I have this thing, let me sort it out. So from now on, I always want to see it sorted. So if, if I want to make this very important change that I always want to see something sorted, it makes sense to make it mutable. So this is a very, very common source of confusion. You make a sort value, a sort values by movie title. And when you check back again, the content of movies, it didn't sort. So it's like sort values is broken or what? No, again, this was immutable. This is a copy of the original data frame. If you want to make that uh, a permanent change, you will have to pass in place equals true. And now things are sorted by that given column. So remember, remember, try to keep an eye on the concept of immutability. Maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense now. Just take our word for it for now, at least. And we want you to understand how important it is. This is and please keep an eye on it. Keep running things and saying, OK, is this thing immutable or is it mutable? How should I make it? Uh, did it return something? Well, that means it's immutable. Oh, it didn't return anything. There is no output. So that means that I have already changed the data frame. So keep an eye on it at the beginning. And remember, that is a very good design decision. So don't try to fight it like saying, I wish everything was immutable. Um, with time, you're going to understand how valuable it is for pandas to be an immutable first library.